Okay, so I got a few things on my mind today. <sighs> First of all, um, for anybody that is a dedicated content creator here on YouTube, uh, like I am, um, and you monetize your videos, the one thing that gets to me is sometimes uh, you'll see in the video manager uh, where it says that uh, content is not appropriate for some view or some advertisers or something like that. Anyway, that you know, and then you can request a review, uh, a manual review of the video just to see. And I went and I did that. I, I checked it out. And apparently, the video has to have at least a thousand views for them to even review it. So, what's the point? I mean, if you're a smaller channel like I am, and you have like 20 to 30 views on all of your videos, what's the point of allowing you to do a manual review if the criteria isn't met you know by having a thousand views on the video like I don't know to me that's just pointless to have it there just say that there's some view you know some advertisers that won't advertise on this video and just leave it at that. Don't even offer the review because <clears throat> it's not available anyway to smaller channels. I guess it's just a standard thing that they have to put there. But anyway, um, yeah, that's been happening a lot lately. Probably because of my content. But I really don't care. I really don't care. I mean, if there's advertisers out there that won't advertise on my videos because of my content, whatever. I really don't care. <laughs> um, also, there is this issue with Thanksgiving in the States. Um which, as you probably know, is November 23rd. And my work closes at 4 p.m. Central Time. Uh, that's when the phone lines shut down. And my regular shift is 1.30 till 10 p.m., right? And... The shift on the 23rd is scheduled for 7.30 in the morning until 4 p.m. And there is no way in anywhere that I am going to work until 10 o'clock at night, the night before, and come in for 7.30 in the morning the next day um, I can do 10 a.m. right so I was talking to my coach about that and I said well why don't I come in from 10 to 4 and make up the lost hours when I work on Saturday and she said why don't you take a vacation day and stay at home and get paid for the eight hours and still work overtime on Saturday? So I think I'm going to take the vacation day, stay at home, and get paid. <sighs> it seems to be the logical choice. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would choose that over working. Um, it's not going to be that 
uh, well, they're expecting it not to be that busy that day anyway. So, so I put in a request to take that day off. And because of what I'm trained on, um, there won't be... Uh, there won't be enough available agents that are trained on what I'm trained for me to take the day off. At least that's what the system said when I put in the request. But my coach is going to work on that and make sure I get that day off. So only time will tell to see if I actually do get that day off. Um, if I don't, oh well. Um, I'll just go in there on the 23rd from 10 to 4 because there's no way I'm showing up at 7.30 in the morning. Um, <laughs> I would probably have to stay up all night, which I'm used to because I do that every Saturday now. Stay up all night on Saturday and then stay up all day on Sunday. But still... I no, I am not going to do that. I'm not going to stay up until, you know, I I just I I refuse to go in there for 7:30 in the morning. I'll do the 10 to 4. There, I'll do the 10 to 4 because that's what I do on the weekends, right? I work until 10 p.m. on Friday nights, and then I show up for work at 10 a.m on Saturdays so that's doable I can do that but I don't know it's gonna be a weird day you know if I don't get that day off uh, yeah but they're they're not expecting it to be busy you know because it's a holiday then again you know based on experience Holidays are just like any other day for the company that I work for. People are calling in all the time. You know, I expected it to die down at night on Halloween, which it didn't. You know, people still called in, which doesn't make sense to me. I mean, wouldn't you rather be sitting at your door handing out candy or out with your, you know, out with your families, uh, collecting candy? I don't know. Um, we're closed on Christmas, so I don't know how it would be on that day. But I'm assuming people would still call in. just doesn't make sense. I mean, <sighs> the company I work for can't be that popular. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say where I work who I work for, but uh, I don't know. I still haven't had any confirmation on that. I asked when I started and never got an answer. So, whatever. Um, it is what it is because that's what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, as for that, uh, that review on YouTube, with the advertisers uh, it's pointless it's pointless because I, I I don't have that many views on most of my videos most of my videos are 20 to 30 views sometimes 40 sometimes 60 there are a few that are over a thousand uh, there's one there's one that was brought to my attention today um, it's called toaster strudels in the microwave and for some weird reason it's got over 9,000 views really you know like microwaving a toaster product is really that interesting that that many people have to watch it like I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm assuming that it got shared around somewhere uh, that I'm not aware of, but 
That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy amount of views. Uh, there's another uh, video that I did, or vlog, or whatever, um, about a company that I was working for being a scam. Uh, that's got over, like... that. That's an insane amount of views. Uh, last time I checked, it was like 15,000 views. Like... That is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy in my in my opinion. But then again, I mean, people people flock to videos that uh, that say scam on them, right? Because they want to know why the company's a scam and how to or why to avoid them. So that kind of makes sense to me. But I think all of my vi all of my videos should have that many views, but then again, the content that I have isn't really that interesting. Um, I would even admit that. I mean, I know I have a boring life. Um, some of you choose to watch it, which is great, and I appreciate that. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just almost five years and The channel's not really going anywhere. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, by my 2000th vlog, that's when I'm going to decide whether or not to keep going. So, by then, it all depends on a few things and where I am. And that's when I'll make my decision whether to continue or not. So if there's a 2001, then you know that I've decided to keep going. If there isn't, then you'll know that I decided to stop. <sighs> but I'll probably still make the Frantic Fridays videos or something. You know, I'll have some sort of content on my channel. I just won't be vlogging every day. So, that's my little rant, I guess you'd call it, video, Frantic Fridays. Frantic! <laughs> I don't know. Enjoy the rest of your day. Check out all of the links in the description box. And take it easy.